Hi, welcome in a small scale teardown. Today, an Electronica Soviet LCD watch. So the goal will be to see if it is uh, as uh, any Hong Kong uh, LCD watch or if it is uh, particularly uh, Soviet in any way inside. So it is a weird design first with uh, sideways uh, LCD as you can see. So probably when you hold the watch like so you will uh, have the uh, time exactly straight to your eye lines but still it is not usual. We have no buttons on the sides, just two buttons here with a reset mode on the one uh, yellow one here, made in USSR. Gummy buttons, by the way. On the rear, the uh, quality uh, seal of USSR and some serial number. So first thing you can see, we have four self-taper screws which are slotted. Also, the waist wrap is a uh, waistband is a uh, weird design, not your usual thing. And it is long time gone. Okay, the first screws are off. I will try to pry this out. Okay, not too bad. We have written number inside the cover here, not something you see in uh, Chinese watches. You have some kind of a seal. About the battery, yes, it is a Soviet uh, battery. Very, very leaky, it seems. Yes, not uh, terribly good. And we have what seems to be a pretty regular green circuit board with uh, tubular quartz here, the regular uh, setting variable capacitor or trimmer here, and three screws which attach the circuit board directly to the case, it seems. These are quite uh, hard to undo, actually. Okay. Then if I lift this, it looks very much like a Hong Kong watch. Uh, zebra strip for a circuit board for the LCD. Not much here except some uh, silver metallized parts in the case. That is not usual. And this, I believe, yes, they have uh, contacts from the uh, buttons. So here the LCD did just come off. The back piece from the LCD and put it uh, IC. Uh, looks like there is a light here, very tiny thing. And nothing else. This might really be a Chinese made circuit board. Nothing particular, no uh, typically Soviet part here. Nothing at all that allows me to tell it was made in USSR. Quite a disappointment actually. So you know what, I have another one, we will just pop it open and check what we have in this one, because this is not coming back together I believe, there is no point uh, keeping uh, that stuff. Maybe I will keep the little screws on the, the back cover, but everything is in a very bad condition, you can see the battery did uh, corrode the uh, front plate here. So. But this one, 
seems a little bit more uh, fancy. It is the Electronica 5, probably a uh, woman's watch with uh, something written here, engraved at the back. I can see it might be 89 here. So probably it was a present of some kind to someone for some special. And we have no battery which actually might be good because uh, you know what happens with batteries there is something weird I do see only one contact to this battery it looks like we are missing a second contact here and uh, apart from this I see a green PCB so this one I will keep for my collection, but it seems to be very, very regular. So it looks like if I undo these two screws, everything will fall apart and I will be able to uh, have a look at the circuit board. So it is not the same construction, you can see already. It seems a little bit better. Yes, it looks like we are missing one battery contact. It is really weird. Probably it came off when the battery was removed and it had to be connected here somewhere. So will it open? Okay, so here it is interesting because you can see already, even if it is a green regular PCB, the potting material is uh, white here instead of black and really it is not uh, very usual to have a uh, white potting material so it is something particular we have a crystal oscillator which is glued here but look at this behind the LCD we have actually a Russian reference number and the logo of a Russian company which makes a Soviet company which makes vacuum tubes also I do not remember which one it is but it is a regular one this one it almost looks like uh, the core of a nuclear reactor in fact but no it is a, a tube with a heater at the bottom on dead code of 89 so it is matching the dead code we have uh, here and apart from this regular zebra strip only one going to these golden pads okay so this one i will put it back together it was the electronica 5 the other one i have no model number Electronica nothing, model number, and this one is in very bad condition. But at least it looks like this was really made in USSR. So, thanks for watching. Bye bye.